Hello everyone. It's about a month away from my two year YouTube anniversary and I thought it might be fun to make my first top five video. So here it is, my top five favorite watercolor brands. So at number five, we have Schmincke Horridam. Yeah, lovely Schmincke. Um, in terms of quality, these paints would be near the top spot, but I'm ranking them a bit lower as they're quite expensive where I am. I made a swatching series of their full range recently and I was really, really impressed. I also like that they seem to be quite honest with their light fastness ratings. Some other brands are not so honest. Schmincke watercolors available in 15, 5ml tubes, full pans and half pans. One thing I didn't like from Schmincke was this whiskey palette set. I mean the pans inside were excellent, there's nothing wrong with that actual paint, but the finish on the palette itself was pretty shocking. I guess Schmincke don't manufacture the palettes themselves, but you'd have thought they'd have better quality control for what is a relatively expensive item. Right, coming in at number four, we have Van Gogh. This is my favorite student grade paint. Um, I've heard some people compare Van Gogh quite favorably to artist grade paint. And yeah, I agree, the paint's really vibrant, high quality, but what lets it down a little bit compared to artist grade paint is the colors are a bit more opaque than you might expect. I mean, that might not be a problem for some. I mean, it doesn't really affect the way I paint. Uh, yeah, Van Gogh colors are available in 10 milliliter tubes and half pans. Um, they're also widely available in 12 pan sets, kind of like this one, but with a more standard color selection. I think they're a really excellent value and especially great as someone's first watercolors. In third place, we have Mugello Mission Gold. I keep thinking of Mugello as a new brand, but I guess they've been producing paint for over a decade now, I think. One thing for sure about these paints is that they're very, very bright. I know from past swatching videos that not everyone likes their brightness. For me personally though, it's not a problem. I find it quite easy to um, tone the paints down. The main weakness in Mugello's range is their earth colors. Um, for basic colors like raw sienna, burnt sienna, burnt umber, rather than the usual single pigment paint, they'd have a three pigment mix. It usually contain PY150 and PBR24, I think. And the resulting colors, yeah, they're quite nice, but and they do mix well, but not really what you expect, right? I was glad, though, when they did actually bring in some single pigment versions. So Magello Mission Gold are available in 15 and, I think, 7 milliliter tubes. Um, they are, or they were, also available in some interesting non-standard size pans. I got this set of their Silver Series student grade paints. You can get a gold version of this, which of course contains the Mission Gold paints. Wow, what's going on with this yellow? Very strange. Um, I like these pans. They're somewhere between half pans and full pan size. I think you can also get a set with even larger pans. Right, and now onto number two, we have Rembrandt watercolors. So this is Royal Talon's artist grade watercolor range. Um, the student grade being Van Gogh, which was at number four on the list. You can get Rembrandt paints in 20 milliliter, 10 milliliter tubes and half pans. Um, they used to sell five milliliter tubes, but I think they've been discontinued. So my story with Rembrandt is quite a lucky one for me. Um, I never really had to pay full price for any of them, I think. Um, yeah, I hadn't thought about trying Rembrandt until I saw some of the old 5ml tubes being sold off for like a crazy cheap price. I ended up buying about 30 tubes and yeah, completely fell in love with them. And even now I'd say they're my most used brand. I mean, sometimes I wonder what it is I like about them so much. I wouldn't say there's anything extra special that you can't get from other brands, but for me they just work. 
And in the number one spot, we have Holbein. Yes, that really is a 60 milliliter tube of lavender watercolor. It's not a tube of toothpaste. So Holbein were my first brand of artist grade watercolors. About a week after I first picked up a paintbrush, I went out and bought 18 colors and yeah, I absolutely loved them. Of course, I had no clue what I was doing, no idea how to mix anything, but seeing the incredible colors, yeah, I think it definitely helped me to keep wanting to learn to paint. I know some people aren't so keen on Holbein because it doesn't disperse that much on the paper, but I actually quite like paints that mostly stay where I put them. In fact, I don't think any of my top four brands disperse all that much. Another thing about Holbein for me is that almost all my most used colors are Series A, like raw sienna, burnt sienna, light red, ultramarine, thalo blue, Payne's gray. They're all Series A, I think, so it makes it relatively cheap for me to fill my palette. And it'd be even cheaper if I could visit Japan and stock up on 60 milliliter tubes. Oh, an honorable mention has to go to Roman Schmoll, who lost a closely fought battle with Schmincke for the fifth spot, uh, losing only really because I haven't used them as much as I've used Schmincke, but yeah, that might change in 2023, we'll see. And as with any favorites lists, of course, this is only my opinion. Um, I feel like I've tried most of the major watercolor brands over the last couple of years, and to be honest, I think I've been quite impressed with all of them. Um, really made me realize that a best brand doesn't really exist, only what's best for you and the way you like to paint. So thank you very much for watching. I'd be really interested to hear in the comments about your top five brands. It's always interesting to see how everyone's opinion is so different. Thanks again. I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye bye.